Wind turbines don't just look aesthetically good, but they can also produce so much energy that they could power up an entire city. For example, just one gigawatt is more than enough to power more than 450,000 homes, which is always with the United States. The U.S.'s largest wind farm is the Alta Wind Energy Center in Kern County, which can produce up to 1.5 gigawatts. So, while powering up more than a million homes is impressive, even the Alta Wind Farm is like a little child to the Chinese Gansu Farm, which is a project so big it will change your perception of wind farms themselves. While Gansu Farm is one of the most innovative megaprojects we've seen in a while, the province of Gansu is one of the poorer and more remote areas. So, how did China's poorest province achieve the building of the world's largest wind farm? And to top it off, what is this mega project's biggest problem? To make it interesting, can we replicate this wind farm anywhere in the world? Let's find out. And subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more mega project related videos like these. The first question everyone has is where the Gansu wind farm is and how it suddenly became so massive. According to Chinese geography, the wind farm is located in the place of the same name, Gansu. To make it interesting, these wind farms reside in the Gobi Desert. China is already making another green desert-based mega project. However, aside from the other projects, the Gobi Desert is windier and hotter which makes it the perfect place for a wind farm. Projects like the Gansu Wind Farm require a lot of square footage to reside. In Gansu, this wind farm will reside on approximately 70,000 hectares of land, which is already quite impressive considering the amount of energy this mega project would generate. However, things are also different here because Gansu province doesn't demand real estate. So, establishing the biggest wind farm in the world would be ideal here. Thankfully, the Chinese energy developers capitalized on this side. This means that they acquired a lot of space for a fraction of the price, which is a big win for them. But if you talk about Gansu, it is also decentralized, but it is facing one of the biggest problems you will ever see. You see, Gansu is facing a GDP crisis as one of the poorest provinces in China, ranking at 31st place in the country. But if it is so poor, why is the province building one of the biggest wind farms in the world? As we discussed earlier, Gansu's location is its main benefit, and China wants to become the sole leader in the world of renewable energy. The project started in 2008 and this was one of the first Chinese plans to reduce their dependence on fossil fuels and increase the use of renewable energy. But there's a massive problem with China that this wind could potentially form. You see, China was, and still is, the biggest emitter of CO2, and the sheer amount of air pollution it contributes is something that no one should be inhaling, because it is bad for our health and the environment. However, building a project like the Gansu Wind Farm takes a huge amount of capital since you're building a wind farm that is approximately 18 to 19 times bigger than the United States' biggest farm. When it comes to funding, it comes from various sources, some of which might surprise you as well. The Chinese government was the main proponent of making this project a success to kickstart the funding process. The IFC Bank also contributed a whopping $150 million. Then we have the European Investment Bank, which invested 40 million euros. All of this money was used to construct a transmission line to connect the wind farm to the Chinese electricity company. While the project started in 2008, construction didn't really start properly until 2009. But if you know one thing about the Chinese government, the project started building rapidly to a level you might not have anticipated. The first phase of the Gansu wind farm was completed in November 2010. With this stage, Gansu contained over 3,500 wind turbines. Compared to that, 
an average wind farm would have an average of 50. In the first phase, the wind farm already had a capacity of 5,160 megawatts. Just two years later, the total capacity increased to 6,000 megawatts. This phase was more than the United Kingdom's wind power capacity at that time, which is just surprising. But now, the Gansu Wind Farm has over 7,000 wind turbines that spread across various wind farms. All of the wind farms cover approximately 39,000 square kilometers, which is a huge area. Not only is this area 426 times the size of a football field, but the whole area of Belgium is also covered. With time, the capacity grew to 10.45 gigawatts, but now the total capacity is as much as 20 gigawatts, which is just overkill at this point. But when it comes to China, all the electricity will be used not only to provide a better experience to the residents, but also to power all the factories in the nation without actually worsening. In other words, this construction is a massive achievement. But you will be blown away to see the technology seen in this wind farm. To help coordinate different wind farms, the Gansu Wind Farm features an integrated wind power coordinated control system which is a powerful wind turbine monitoring system. However, there are some issues with the wind farm as well. You see, for most of its life, Gansu Wind Farm was producing way too much energy for the local grid. That's why they were able to leverage the coordinated control system to divert and ship off an extra gigawatt of power a day. But still, 39% of Gansu's wind energy is wasted, which begs the question, why was Gansu facing the inefficient production of electricity issues? Why did it have a hard time to give its extra energy to others? While Gansu is one of the biggest names in the wind farm industry, it has faced many problems. You see, the power generated by Gansu Wind Farm in 2012 cost around 0.54 won, which is around 7.5 cents for energy price per kilowatt hour. And if you didn't see it as an issue, you would be interested in knowing that the nearby coal-powered energy plant was selling energy for only 0.3 won. In other words, the market of the wind farm doesn't look good and it seems to be low compared to the coal-oriented energy production plants. The Gansu is a region in northwestern China, but at the same time, they mine a lot of coal in this area. Coal in general is one of the biggest sources for the economic health of China. To make the whole scenario worse, Gansu doesn't even have proper tech industries located in the area, which just gives up lesser innovations that would lead to something different. So, while this wind farm is one of the biggest things to happen to China, it is also a double-edged sword that is making them suffer alongside. In other words, the wind farm is very successful at generating electricity, but there's a huge energy loss, too. Without enough energy demand, the energy was going to waste. But keeping all that in mind, how much does this project even cost? In total, the Gansu Wind Farm costs around $17.5 billion, with 7,000 turbines and a 20 gigawatt setup. This would be enough to power more than 13.3 million homes in China. But with a lot of difficulty surrounding it, the mega project is going through a challenge of its own. It has some of the biggest sustainability issues we have seen, and a lot of energy is going to waste. Without proper tech, the Gansu wind farm could go to total waste, which is something that no one would want. Then we have the issue of the great distance, since the desert is located far from other cities. The main issue with Gansu is that the province barely surpasses Beijing's popularity, and all the surrounding cities are a little too far for the wind farm to generate electricity. There are also many mountains surrounding the area too, which just makes it difficult to maintain the transmission lines. Currently, the farm is owned by China Longwan Power Group, and with so much investment, a lot of people are wondering if the project was even worth it. Now, we ask you the final question. Do you think ultimately the Gansu Wind Farm is a success? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel 
and ring the bell icon for more.